Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out our game. My name is Jonathan Zangri. I'm the lead designer of Super Mash. And with Super Mash, it really introduces a lot to you all at once. So we figured it would be helpful to make some guides for everybody starting out. We especially thought it would be handy to show you some of the mashes in action. So let's check it out. Here I am, and my job is to talk to different customers and make them custom games. Now, how do I make a custom game? Basically, I do it by going to this mash machine right back here. As you can see, it's a console sitting on the sitting on the counter. And then by pressing E, I can create a mash. Now, this is the entire concept of Super Mash. Look at all these different genres. We have the shoot 'em up genre, we have the stealth genre, we have the platformer, action adventure, Metroidvania, JRPG. What you do is you choose two genres, let's say action adventure and I don't know, maybe shoot them up. You choose two genres and then Super Mash will make you a custom game on the spot of those two genres that, that mixes them. Now, if you want, you can, do, you can do just one genre. You could do action adventure, action adventure if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I wanna do a mash. So I'm gonna choose, let's see, platformer and Stealth. Why not stealth, right? Now I can start the mash right from here, or if I want to, I can go over to the mash settings. And as you can see, I have different things that I can tweak in order to make the mash better. So here's the, the game length. I can make it a short game. Maybe I don't have a lot of time. Average, long game. Uh, I can make it an easy game by modifying the difficulty. Easy, normal, hard. And then even more interesting, uh, interestingly, over here, I have different slots for dev cards. Now, what dev cards allow me to do is to determine what is in the actual game. Um, I can also do it for player, for, for weapons. I have smoke grenade if I wanna use the smoke grenade. For what the level looks like, uh, for game glitches, and also what music is playing uh, while, the, while, while you play the game. So glitches are, we all, we're gonna have another video just on glitches, but uh, just an overview. They're basically, they're things that make uh, the game harder or they make it the game easier. Good glitches get you closer to your goal and bad glitches uh, get you, you know, prevent you from getting to your goal. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna put the elite soldier in. Why not? It'll be fun to see him. So the elite soldier will now be in the mash. I'm gonna put an average normal, uh, normal length game. Normal difficulty, average length. All right, let's start the mash. So every time you make a mash, it, the first thing that it does is it makes you a, uh, a title screen. So this is called Invasion of the Elite Soldier Story. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. So that's, my, that's the name of my game. It also, every game comes with a little story. Okay, so as you can see, in this paragraph is my goal. Bring the seven elite soldiers to justice in under 10 minutes. What that means is there's gonna be seven elite soldiers. That's, that's actually the enemy that I slotted into the game. I'm gonna to have to defeat them uh, in under 10 minutes. Okay, so this is my main character. This is cobbling together for me on the fly a loadout for my character. So as you can see, my character's name is Digiwing. Uh, he has two health pips out of three, which means he's pretty tough, two speed pips out of three, which means he's pretty fast, and my weapon is a platformer-like fireball. Cool. All right, what else do I have? I have special abilities on the bottom. I have a high jump, and I have a dodge roll. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start the game, and on the left and on the right, my active glitches have appeared. So I have critical damage, and I have enemy spawn. Okay, so that's that's tough. Here I am. I started uh, I started the game. And as you can see, it is a scrolling level that has elite soldiers. Okay, I killed an elite soldier, and as you can see on the oh man, on the bottom, on the bottom of the screen, when I kill an elite soldier, or I defeat one, uh, it's going to tick up the counter. So I have to get seven of them. Because it's mashed with stealth, these enemies have vision cones. They're actually like patrolling trying to find me. Okay, every, anytime you forget what your goal is or you forget what your glitches are, press the pause button and you can see your goal, six out of seven, bring seven elite soldiers to justice in under 10 minutes. Uh, and then on the bottom left, I see my, my good glitch, which is critical damage. Something that I'm doing is giving me critical damage. And then um, my bad glitch is on the right, that's enemy spawn. And I don't know if you guys saw, but every time I collected a coin, it spawned a new enemy around me. So that's a tough one, that's a tough glitch. And you never know what the event is that's going to, 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 to activate these glitches. It's different every time. So what that basically produces are games where you, you kind of never know, uh, you never know what they're gonna be. 
All right, so let's try to get this last elite soldier. Okay, so I, as you can see, I, I got this coin. When I pick up this coin, it's gonna spawn an enemy, so I gotta be ready. Got him there. I got these little blocks. Every time I hit these blocks, it gives me uh, either a currency of some sort. Sometimes those blocks are moving, so you gotta watch out. Sometimes they have an enemy inside them. So Mash can be tricky like that. I just hit this, um, this checkpoint, which means if I lose a life, I will respawn right there. Oh, here's my last soldier. Here we go. One, two, boom, right there. Great. I got seven out of seven soldiers. I won the mash. When you, when you win a mash, you will get new dev cards. So I'm gonna collect my rewards down here. Ah, oh, okay, a G41 Falcon. That's a uh, shoot 'em up plane. So that's great. And then I got 67 tokens, great. Now, I have a couple options when I, when I win a mash. If I really like the mash, I can go down here and I can save the mash. And it's going to actually, I, there's a place in my store, uh, a back shelf where I can go and I can interact and, and replay all of my saved matches. I can retry the mash right from the screen. Um, I can return to the shop or I can click the share button and it'll give me a mash code. And using this mash code, you can share this with anybody um, and they will be able to play the exact same mash that you played. If you like a mash a lot, you can just give them this code. They'll be able to plug it in the game and play the exact same one, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the game. If you have any questions about the game, please hit us up on our Discord or leave a comment below on this video. And thank you so much for watching and enjoy the game.